Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Although the main mission of the United States Coast Guard is to ensure the nation's maritime safety, security, and stewardship, its day-to-day -day duties amid the challenging environment of the icy regions of the Arctic may be astounding. The U.S. Coast Guard manages six major operational missions in maritime – law enforcement, response, prevention, transportation system management, security, and defense. It has its presence on all seven continents and the world's oceans, projecting national sovereignty with its most advanced vessels and equipment. In today's feature, let us explore the powerful icebreakers used by the Coast Guard in the extreme hemisphere. Several classes of sea vessels for different missions are currently in operation, but when it comes to traversing through areas of thick ice flows, it deploys its two robust icebreakers, one of which is the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Healy. The Healy, a 420-foot-long vessel with an 82-foot beam, was launched in 1997 and put into service in 1999. It is intended to carry out a variety of research and support missions in the polar regions and has an ice-breaking capacity of 4.5 feet of ice at 3 knots. It has cabins for up to 85 crew members and 51 scientists, more than 4,200 square feet for scientific laboratories, multiple electronic sensor systems, oceanographic winches, and towing equipment. Healy is able to accommodate two H-65 Dolphin or one H-60 Jayhawk helicopters aboard. While on deployment to the Arctic in 2020, the Healy experienced a fire in the ship's primary propulsion motor. Consequently, it's taken to a dry dock in Vallejo, California for repair. To begin with, a massive hole was cut into the side of the ship and the mega chunk of metal was lifted away using special heavy lifting cranes. The damaged propulsion motor was then taken out of the ship through the hole and lifted out by the same cranes. Meanwhile, a replacement motor was removed from its storage facility in Baltimore and sent through the Panama Canal to the dry dock. The cranes then lowered this new propulsion motor to the repair crew for them to install it onto the Healy. Once the installation was complete, the crew was tasked with fitting back the piece of hull that was cut out.
Nevertheless, it is due to the utmost usefulness of this vessel that makes it a priority to be repaired and maintained. Search and rescue is one of the U.S. Coast Guard's primary missions, preventing the loss of life, personal injury, or property damage by helping boaters in distress has always been a top priority. Search and rescue response involves multi-mission stations, cutters, aircraft, and boats linked by communications networks. The ultimate success of the search and rescue program is the result not only of how well the system responds to maritime incidents, but also the efforts of other safety programs to be able to operate safely in the maritime environment and to take the correct actions when faced with a distress situation. Besides arriving to the rescue in critical situations like these, Keeley works full-time with the National Science Foundation to support its various missions in the polar regions. This includes assisting scientists in research purposes, such as oceanographic research, wherein crew deploy a conductivity, temperature, and depth instrument into the icy waters to collect samples of water and study the environment in depth. The duties and operations of the U.S. Coast Guard are not just restricted to these cold regions. It also plays a pivotal role in facing and handling the threats that we may encounter at sea. For this reason, the crew is trained intensively to counter incidents of transnational organized crime or event humanitarian and disaster relief operations. One of the aspects of this training includes raids on enemy overtaken heliports and communication towers, where the Coast Guard crew wear soft armor on their body and simulate a physical enemy combat situation. The U.S. Coast Guard is crucial in putting passenger vessel safety laws into practice and is also in charge of overseeing passenger vessel safety. For instance, as a security measure and a means of fighting terrorism, the Coast Guard escorts cruise ships as they embark on their voyage. It also conducts inspections twice a year on cruise ships to make sure the cruise is abiding by international safety standards. These inspections include fire drill evaluation, abandoning the ship protocols, and checking all other equipment on board the ship. Another duty is to conduct patrols far beyond the shores, countering fraudulent activities at sea and strengthening relationships for maritime sovereignty and security throughout the region. From rescuing seafarers to acting as a nation's defense, the U.S. Coast Guard plays multiple pivotal roles today. 
It has proven to be as integral as the other divisions of the United States Armed Forces, such as the Air Force and military, considering its capabilities and dedication. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.